As a representative of Curtin University, I am proud to honour the Aboriginal people and recognise the historical impacts of the past. As an active participant in reconciliation, I value shared learning and commit to strengthening an equal partnership that will honour the past, present and future. My name is Emily Hamilton and I will be discussing that while words are a vital means of communication, the use of powerful images in the media is highly effective in conveying intended messages to the public. Images have always played an important role in human communication. One of the earliest means of communication took form in pictures. The ancient Egyptians, for example, created striking, elaborate paintings to tell stories or portray religious beliefs and cultural practices of the time. Another form of ancient art rock art or cave paintings are thought to have been a way of communicating with others and a means to record certain events. The National Geographic Daily News 2012 reported that the oldest work of visual art to be discovered is estimated to date back 40,800 years. The earliest records of the written language, however, date back around 5,000 years. This may suggest that the visual has been, and surely continues to be, a vital element in human connection and communication. While methods of communication have evolved greatly since ancient times, images are still used to convey messages and influence those viewing them. Pictures in the media, such as advertisements, propaganda and news reports, aim to cause a reaction, conjure up emotions and ultimately inspire the reader to action. While words play an important role in communicating messages, it is often the image that has the most impact in capturing the attention of the audience and conveying the intended message. Burns et al. 1993 state that humans are highly visual creatures, retaining visual imagery better than words, and that mental images are strongly tied to personal experiences, emotions and memory. This supports the view that people may be influenced by their emotions when an image triggers a memory or is relevant to a life experience. It also helps to explain why images are so important in communicating messages and influencing the ideas of others. One area in which the concept that people respond greatly to visual imagery is targeted is advertising. It is common for a striking image to be used that contains few or even no words, drawing the viewer in by stimulating the visual senses and commanding the viewer's attention. In a study by Lutz and Lutz, 1977, it was found that subjects recalled brand names better when advertisements used images rather than words only. Examples of such advertisements are shown here, where the main attraction in each picture is not what the words are saying, but what the visual is saying. The words are small and few, requiring the viewer to analyse what message the image is sending. For instance, what does the United Colours of Benetton ad mean by labelling three identical hearts with the names of different colours? How does the athlete's bandage in the Adidas ad relate to the brand? And more importantly, why is there a cow on a trampoline? According to Mizuki and Abdul Haq 2011, the understanding of an advertisement has an influence on the attitude of its audience. Positive responses towards the brand occur when the viewer has decoded the message of the ad and has a sense of accomplishment in doing so. This is where the emotions come into play and the whole advertisement is seen in a more favourable light. It could then be expected by the advertiser that once the image has made an impact, the message decoded and the positive attitude toward the advertisement is felt, the viewer will be inspired to act buy the product, consume the product, or support the cause. Another area in which strong imagery is used to persuade and cause influence is propaganda. 
Jowett and O'Donnell 1992 described propaganda as the deliberate, systematic attempt to shape perceptions, manipulate cognitions and direct behaviour to achieve a response that furthers the desired intent of the propagandist. In other words, propaganda aims to influence attitudes and persuade people to support the cause being promoted. As in advertising, propaganda often uses pictures in which the visual image is the prominent feature. A well-known form of propaganda is the war recruitment posters used globally during World Wars I and II. According to Jowett and O'Donnell 1992, there was a great concern during World War II about the powers of persuasion of the media and the potential to directly alter attitudes and behaviour. This concern is justified upon viewing the persuasive and sometimes intense nature of the war propaganda pictures. Figure 1 shows a Nazi officer plunging a knife through the Holy Bible. This poster is strategic and deliberate in instilling fear in the people of the United States of America, a largely Christian nation at the time. The poster aims to shape attitudes and paint the enemy as a violent anti-Christian opponent. It urges one to enlist and defend against such a monster that denigrates and rejects Christian values. Figure 2 is a promotion of the White Ribbon Campaign, which seeks to stop violence against women. This picture features no words, only the white ribbon symbol and the dramatic image of a woman with a bruised face and a defeated expression. The image arouses feelings of sympathy, outrage and a need for justice. It says without words the violence against women is not okay and implores the reader to form this same attitude. These pictures show again how the message of a text can speak loudly simply by displaying a powerful image that stimulates the visual sense and speaks effectively to the reader. While words are important in assisting the understanding of a story, message or cause, the power of the visual image becomes apparent when a starving child or an abused woman is no longer faceless and we emotionally connect with and understand the picture we are seeing. A strong visual image brings to life the message being conveyed, often speaking louder than words and lingering in our memory. Engaging and encouraging us to find meaning in the process of communication.